Hey guys, we're <clears throat> I'm way back here in these old East Tennessee mountains today, and the deer season just ended. And as you can see, we've got some snow on the ground that's cold. But one of my favorite times of the year to scout for deer is after the season's over. And technically, the the uh, juvenile hunt is still going on today. Uh, that's why I'm wearing orange. There's nobody out here. Um, so I'm not gonna be bothering anybody. Plus I've, I've seen very few kids or anybody hunt back in here because it is pretty rugged. But I, I love to, to scout for deer this time of year and thought you might wanna come along and see what I do. And I get a lot of information um, right now about the woods and about what the deer are doing because uh, the woods, my dad used to say, the woods are naked right now. You can see the topography, and with this snow on the ground, I'll be able to see where they're walking and what they're feeding on, and I thought you might want to come along. Plus, it's just a good day to get out and walk around in the woods. So come on around and uh, go with me, and maybe we'll see some cool stuff for next season. As we're going along here, what we're looking for, and what I'm looking for, is a couple of things. <clears throat> Number one, I'm looking for food source. And this time of year here in East Tennessee, they like to feed on uh, uh, red oak acorns. It's one of the last acorn that's still on the ground. And they'll feed on that. Second thing I'm looking for is where they might be um, bedding. And, I, and in this area, I expect it to be in the cedar thickets. So, that's what I'm going to look for, and it'll give me a lot of information for next year. The problem is, pretty high mountain there in front of me. I'm going to have to climb that and get out on top to get where I'm wanting to go. So as we go along, we're looking for tracks. We're looking for rubs that were made back in the fall, and uh, we're looking for food source. So let's just keep walking and see what we see. There are hogs and bears in this area, but we probably won't see anything like that it is a beautiful day though it's a beautiful beautiful place to be in and a beautiful day okay i just climbed that ridge i was showing you that explain why i'm breathing so hard but uh to be honest going at the top of this ridge right here and i'll spin you around i expect to find a rub up there here somewhere where deer's rubbed his antlers on the tree uh you can travel at the top of a ridge this time of year like this and you can find deer sign doesn't mean that's where you're going to hunt but it will kind of give you a little inventory that there's a buck around I'll show you you can see how steep it is and I don't know if you can tell on the video but it's pretty steep rugged going through here I'm about a, at this point a half mile from my vehicle from my truck. As you can see, I'm literally gonna be traveling out the finger of this ridge, top of this ridge, and we'll just see what we find out through here. I did wanna show you something else that's made my life a lot easier. I got me this about a year ago. Found it on sale, it's a walking stick. And uh, for a lot of years I thought, well that's for old men. But you would not believe the difference that walking stick makes when I'm walking through the woods. Uh, it helps you, and just like down there a few minutes ago, I crossed a creek that had gotten kind of icy, and I was able to steady myself with it as I crossed, and you can kind of push yourself up as you're um, climbing a ridge, and uh, even last year, I was picking blackberries and came across a copperhead snake, and it got a little too close, and I was able to just take that stick right there and poke it and kind of get it to move out of the path a little. Didn't hurt the snake and uh, everybody was safe. So you can use it for a lot of things out here, but it sure makes your life a lot easier uh, walking through these woods. That was just kind of a, a tip. So let's keep going out through here. Let's see if we can find some sign. All right, this is not a big rub, but it's a little, for whatever reason, bucks love to rub these little cedar trees so anytime you're walking along see a cedar tree check it out this is not a big rug but you can see where he's hit it a lick here and there uh i'll try to close get a close-up of it this is the kind of thing you're looking for and you veteran deer hunters i ain't telling you anything you don't know but 
maybe you're a single mom or somebody that's never hunted before this is a piece of information that you could use but that's not a big rub but it is you can see you broke the limbs off and that kind of thing so we're gonna keep cruising out through here i'm betting we find some more out there here okay we're walking along here this is what i'm talking about another little cedar tree and here's pretty good rub on it done probably a month or two ago you can see where the deer's rubbed it with his antlers they love cedar trees i think they can really scratch their um antlers with it because it's kind of got a rough bark and those limbs are rough and so that's two little rubs we found out through here. We're just gonna keep on walking. Nothing major yet. I'm looking for that food source. I'm looking for that bedding area. Y'all, this camera ain't gonna do this justice, but uh, it's some of the prettiest country that there is around. Look how pretty that is. I'm on the top of this ridge, but you look off down in this gully here. And then you can see those mountains way off in the distance. And again, it, this isn't doing it justice, but I'm a long way from the truck here. And I just had to stop and look at this. I mean, this is pretty. Get out, lay, you know, lay your phones down. And get out in these places. I don't have a lick of phone signal back in here. And uh, this ain't for everybody, but man, this is pretty. And you, you just don't get to see things like this on television. Cold, snowy, East Tennessee day. Okay, this is the kind of area that I look for right here. I'm going to have to top this ridge and I'll turn around. You can see where I just came from. All right, this is called a saddle. This is a low spot in between ridges and I'll take you along here as we walk up on it. If you can find a saddle like this and let me get turned, I'm going to kind of go through some briars here. Step in the hole. Uh, it's kind of a low spot. This is what we, my dad would have called a swag in the ridge. And if you can find a place like this right here, a low spot, where maybe there's some red oak acorns and even in the early fall you find some white oak acorns you can uh, this, is, this would be a good place to maybe to hunt uh, deer love to cross from one holler to another in a low place like this in the ridge a deer does not feel comfortable being silhouetted uh, on top of a ridge so when they cross somewhere they're gonna find a low spot like this. And I'll go over here and show you, and look right here what we just found. I walked right up on it while I was talking to him. So here's a rub. So he's got a pretty good buck right here. Rubbing that tree there. So you can see this is just a general area where deer are comfortable being. I'll show you. They'll come up out of this hollow right here. Get rid of this big tree. They'll come up out of this hollow right here. And they'll cross right here. See, this is just a natural travel area for them. And they'll go right up through there and go across that saddle down into the other um, holler. So we found a rub over there. And, and uh, I'm not seeing many tracks, so there ain't been nothing through here. It snowed last night and during the night. So any tracks we see is gonna be real fresh. I'm not seeing any any tracks. But uh, this is just a natural area for them to be. And if I could find some acorns right here, this would be a place I keep in mind for next fall. Come back in here and look and see if there's any sign in here, whether it's poop or tracks or, or uh, rubs like we just found back there. I actually was in this area three years ago. I hunted in here. Had some good sign in here at that time. I actually saw a bear in here uh, while I was deer hunting. That was kind of exciting. As you can see, they just crossed where we just crossed there. And uh, 
what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep going up into this area and then go down that finger right there. And I looked at my topo map and uh, there's a creek down in there, a creek bottom. We're going to check that creek bottom out and see if there's any sign down in there. That area right there, <clears throat> I really want to look at because there's a cedar thicket over there that I want to see. I expect the deer to be bedded in that so i've got some walking to do y'all let's just keep rolling okay so we just came down that ridge i was telling you about so right there that is that's where we just walked from now let me show you what i've come across right here so we've got hardwoods right here you're coming around and it meets this cedar thicket there's pines there's cedars that kind of thing in here so this is an area and we've even got a little mountain laurel down in there i can see um for whatever reason, deer love to travel these edges like this, where one type of woods meets another. So as we go along right through here, this kind of area I'm looking for kind of gets me excited a little bit. We're really gonna look for sign around through here for next year. This is a natural tra travel area for them. It's a place they feel safe. Let's say somebody like me in here. So let's just keep rolling. All right, now, you talk about finding good sign. I want you to show you here what I just found. Now, you, this don't mean a lot to people, but uh, this is a scrape, and it's been snowed in overnight. And what happens is a big buck will come along, and he'll scrape out a place like this right here uh, on the ground. And he'll paw back the leaves, and he has scent glands on the bottom of his feet. And what he'll do is he'll stick his paws, his hoofs, rather, down in that, and he'll pee, actually pee, urinate over his hooves. And what he's doing is he's letting the does know that he's around and he's ready to breed. Uh, they always put it under a limb. And so what you can see right here, these limbs are broke off. See that right there? I don't know if it'll focus on it or not. I'll back up a little. But uh, he's broke these limbs off. And what he does, he also has scent glands at the bottom of his antlers. And he'll rub those scent glands over these limbs. So he puts his scent all over the ground, all over these limbs. And he's letting these other deer know that he's ready to breed. Now I'm looking right over here while I'm talking to you and I see something else. If deer season was still going on right now, that's a hot scrape. It's been snowed in, it ain't been checked tonight, uh, last night. But uh, that's, a, that's about as big a scrape as I've seen in a while. And these other limbs over here broke off. And I'm actually looking, there's another scrape right down there that I can see from here. So I'm gonna walk right over here and show you what else I found. Just while I stand here talking to you, it's right along this edge where I expected this sign to be. Oh, good gracious. You got this rub right here. Little rub right there where he's rubbed his in. Look right here. Now this is an older rub. This is an older rub. That's probably actually last year. Here's another one where deers rub these antlers. That's an older, older rub. So we're a little bit in his bedroom. Oh, good gracious, hold on. Let's spy something from right here. Let me walk around here and show you something. Look right here, you actually see a trail right here where they've been walking. It don't look like anything walked there last night. Let me show you what else we got down here. I get tore up over this stuff, y'all. Let me show you. What else we got? Guys, I'm a long, long way from the truck at this point. Look right here. I wish I'd have been hunting here back during the fall. Look at that rub right there. That's a good rub right there. It's got a little black in it, so it's been there a while. Probably October or so. There's another good rub. So we're in this edge right here, and you might be able to hear in the background, there's a creek right down here, a little old creek, and you can see the mountain laurel. This is how you find deer in these East Tennessee mountains. So you just gotta get in these areas like this and look. So we gonna keep chugging along right here. I'm glad I found that to show you that. It kind of got me tore up a little bit. Let's keep going, because I think we're in his bedroom right here. All right. I want to show you this right here. So we just came back down through there, through this cedar thicket. You look down in here, look at all that mountain laurel. 
you might be able to hear the little old creek down there big pine thicket right there i'm gonna slip down there in that but what i want to show you is you got these hardwoods right here all these ridges hardwood ridges are coming together right here all these hollers all this this is kind of like an intersection and then you got this edge right here this is a place i'll definitely come back to in the fall and look at i expect, suspect that's the bedding area right there where the deer are going to lay up during the day and rest but boy this is an intersection this is a place right here where game will travel I'm gonna get right down here in this mess right here and see what I can see. Uh, like I said, it ain't deer season right now. It's a good nine months before it starts. If it was close to the deer season, I wouldn't get down in that and interrupt their bed because I don't want them to really know I'm around. But right now I'm gonna get down in there and see what I can see. See if my suspicions are correct. This is the kind of place right here you want to look for. All these ridges are coming together. You got an edge of cedars meeting the hardwoods. We're going to keep rolling and see what else we can find. Okay, I'm back in this thicket now. I mean, it's, it is thick. It's just about as thick. You can't walk through it. Cedar. But you go look right there. See if I can zoom in. There's a good fresh rub right there. So there's been a buck stood right there and rubbed these antlers. Zoom back yeah. I'm gonna try to get through this a little bit. But I mean I'm I'm sure that this is where those deer are bedding. And uh I'll be hunting this edge up through here next fall. I'll get in here and we'll find the sign, but you can see number one this is beautiful. Number two, this is definitely the place a big buck could live. They don't get big by being stupid. So they'll get in a place like this and hide. Mountain laurel, pines, cedars, all kinds of greenery back in here. And uh, this creeks up a little bit because we had quite a bit of rain a couple of days ago before this snow moved in. How dare you find a prettier place in this world than where I'm at right now. I guarantee you there ain't but a man in here in forever. I definitely found me a place right here that I think I can kill a good one. Just keep on rolling, y'all. Okay. I just climbed a terrible ridge. I come up out of that thicket I was just telling you about. Came up a ridge and I was swinging around. That's why I'm breathing hard. Good gracious. Uh, I'm gonna go on out. You see this ridge behind me here, this flat. I'm gonna go on and check that cedar thicket out that I told you about at the beginning. I actually believe it'll be a place I can turkey hunt here in about three months. But uh, we're gonna keep rolling through here and uh, this ridge will eventually if I'm where I think I am, will take me back toward the old dirt road out there where I left my truck. Uh, it's a haul. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a walk out through there. But I, I thought I might cut some tracks coming up that steep ridge, but I, I never did, which is a little disappointing. But it's all right. Uh, I've already learned a lot about this area. Definitely be a place I'm. I'll be back in here come turkey season, and then here in about nine months during deer season. 10 months, whatever it is. Today is January 14th. And so, um, I'm just catching my breath. We're gonna go right out on top of this ridge right here. Keep walking. We're gonna see if we can find that pine thicket over there. See what we can find in it. All right, let's go. All right, you talk about a place for a deer to travel in bed. You got this holler coming up right here. Steep holler. I got over here and I found that pine ticket. Look here. It comes up right there. They'll come in here and I look right here. You talk about a place for a deer to live. Now that's it. And I'm betting you a dollar to a donut. <clears throat> we find us a big old rub around through here somewhere. I sure hope we do. Because it's going to. 
let me know that there's definitely deer around here. <laughs> and then I say that and look what I find. Right there. That's an old rub. That's an old one right there. That might have been done long about September or so. Uh, right here in this edge, right where you think it'd be. Boy, I'm gonna keep going right around through here. Alright, I just walked a few more steps. Look right here what I found. Right here in this edge, right where I figured it'd be. There's one, two, three rubs right here together. Fresh rubs. Look at there. Right here where you'd expect it to be. This is this is an absolute prime location now. Remember, deer don't like to travel along the tops of these ridges a lot, but they'll uh, they'll uh, get along the sides of it, and, and I expect to hunt the side of this ridge and find where he's going off, like right over here. Right there's where he'll go down at, him and his girlfriends. You might be able to hear a little gunfire in the background. Oh, good gracious, folks. Look right here what I just found. There's a firing range about a mile as the crow flies from my location right now. I want you to look what I just found right here. Oh, son. This tears me up right here. Oh, good Lord. Look at this massive. Look right here. Holy cow. Look at that rub. I'm going to put my hand down here for scale. Look right there. Guys, you don't find y'all, you don't find that right there very often in East Tennessee. Look at that. Right here along this edge. Oh, I should have been here back in the fall. Right here. You know, some people watch this dirty stuff on TV. It, and it gets to get them tore up. This right here tears me up. Look at that. Boy, I know I, I, where I'll be come September. Holy cow. And and I mean look at that, folks. That, that's a massive rub. That's as big a rub as I've seen in years here in East Tennessee. You hit these two little saplings. Holy cow. Holy cow. Boy, I'm going to mark this. And I'm going to walk out here just a little bit more. I didn't expect to find anything like that. Boy, I'm glad I walked out here today. This tears me up. I love being in these old mountains. I'm telling you, it ain't no, it ain't no telling what you'll find. Let's keep a, keep a rolling out through here. Okay, so I come on out through here. I kept finding rubs. Nothing like that big one I just found, but there's some pretty good rubs around through there. So the plan is to come on around through here, and I found this place right here. Stick in another hole right there. To see. So what I'll do, this place right here make a good ground blind. Somebody might say, well, why don't you bring a tree stand in here? Well, it's a long, long, long way to carry a tree stand in here. So I'll hunt off the ground right here. What I'll do is I'll come back in here in the fall and I'll really scout this. But I'm betting I can sit right here because I, I can already see oaks out through there that'll be dropping acorns in the fall of the year. And... Uh, I can set up right here. You can be good and hid. Get right down in there. You got this pine thicket right here, a cedar thicket. That's obviously where that deer's bedding. I mean, this is just an absolute beautiful, perfect spot. And I'll be back in here in the fall. And I'm so far from the truck right now. I guess I better start kind of heading back because I've done what I wanted to do. Well, I love this. If you ain't out in the mountains this time of year, you need to get out here. Mountain living, y'all. Okay, I want to show you this right here. Um, got some tracks right here. There, there. This has been a little deer. Like I said, it snowed last night. So, um, these are very fresh. These are early this morning or during the night or whatever. Looks like gonna be during the night because the tracks were made and it looks like they've been snowed in and it ain't snowed now for you know about three hours. So there are some deer deer tracks in here. And uh oh lord look right over here. 
Okay. Look out here. That's a good rub right there. Look at that. Pretty rub. I'm done about November. It's got some dark spots in it, so it's been there a while. Right here on top of this old ridge, them tracks they went down. They angled down, went down the side of the ridge there, went down in that holler. Like I said, dear love to you. I'd say them was done in the dark last night. I had to guess. All right, I appreciate y'all coming along. I'm gonna head back to the truck. I got about a 40 minute walk headed back. Um, I ain't done nothing special out here today. If you're a veteran deer hunter, I ain't showing you anything that you don't already know. But if you're a you're a single mom, you're a single dad or whatever, and you want to get your kids into hunting, it's kind of back in these mountains, you know, watch this and learn from it. Get them out there. Just get out in the woods and, and learn. And if you do have questions, why well, you can comment on here. If you do comment, be kind to each other. Be nice. Um, if you say something ugly on there or, or, or try to hurt somebody's feelings, I'm going to take your comment down. Then I'm going to block you. So let's be, be good to each other. Listen, the Lord's blessed us with a with places like this, he's blessed us in so many ways and there's a lot more life than a cell phone and technology and all this stuff. And I know I'm using technology to get this message out, but the Lord's been good to us. Uh, the Lord's been good to me. I ain't always been good to him, but uh, he's had to bring me back from time to time like he has all of us. And I love my church because that's where I find God. But I tell you what, the Bible says pray without ceasing. And you get in a place like this right here and and you, you, you can spend some time talking to the Lord. And the good news is when it's good and quiet out here and there ain't no distractions, well, he can talk to you too. So if you got questions, comment down below. And uh, I appreciate you. And my daughter's the one that has encouraged me to do this. And I'm sure I'll give all this to her and she'll put it together. <laughs> she'll put it together somehow and get it up for me. But uh, I'm going to go home and cook me something hot because it's cold out here today. And uh, the good news is I know where I'm going to be hunting come fall. God bless, and I'll see y'all next time.